Hello YouTube. In this video, I want to show you how to perform a clean install of Windows Server 2012 Release 2. Alright, and in the first screen you're going to want to click Next and then click Install Now. Pretty well standard for most of all the server installs and newer versions of Windows. Most of this, very low interaction, which is a huge change over other versions. So this one here, you can do a 2012 standard core install, a 2012 standard server with a GUI, the data center core install, or the data center server with GUI. We're going to do the standard server with GUI. So once you select whichever server you have, or if you actually have the regular disk, it'll probably have just the standard or whichever version you purchased. At that point, click next. Click I accept terms, click next. You're going to do a custom install of Windows. This isn't an upgrade. You can do an upgrade. I will do a video on that later. However, for now, we're just going to do this as a clean install. So select your unallocated drive space, click new click apply it's going to come up and tell you that it's going to have to create some additional partitions that's absolutely fine you do want to let it do that so click OK now it's going to create the partitions required as you can see this system reserve partition is considerably larger from what it was with server 2008 Windows 7 you know those versions so once it's done creating those select your partition to click format click OK It'll format out the drive, make sure that drive is fully prepared and ready for the OS files to be copied over and the system to be installed. Once it's done, make sure you have that partition too. You don't want the system one up here, you want primary selected and click next. It'll copy over your files. This part can take a little while, so I'll be back with you when it's done. Welcome back YouTube. We're officially at 93%, so the actual files are almost fully on there, and it's ready to start installing features, updates, and finish up. Do not be too surprised if it reboots a few times in this process, as that's actually fairly normal, especially on a Windows install. Windows will do some pretty funky things on its own most of the time. But it's doing things that it needs to do, and it's doing things that it really needs to take care of. So if it has to reboot, that's fine. It'll go back and progress from where it left off. Yes, that is one of the natural marvels and wonders of the newer style installers. Very little user interaction, and it takes care of things itself. Anybody who's ever installed Windows 3.1.1, Windows 95, Windows 98, and even ME or Windows 2000 knows what I mean. Even Windows XP required more interaction than what the newer versions of Windows do. Ever since Vista and up, the installer has changed so much and so little user interaction now. There's a few things that you set and it just does its thing. See right here. Restart now. Press any key to boot from CD or DVD. I would rather not at this point. It needs to boot from the drive, so don't press anything when you see that after it reboots. If you boot from the CD or the DVD after it reboots, you are going to run into some very serious problems because you're going to be starting the whole install process over again. Not something you want to do. You want it to actually boot from the hard drive so that way it can pick up where it left off and continue its own process. As you can see, this is the same boot screen that you get with Windows 10. However, I assure you that is not the Windows 10 operating system. It is Server 2012, Release 2. It's just like Server 2008 was more like Vista. 2008 R2 was Windows 7. And then you get into Server 2012, which is more like Windows 8. And then Server 2012 R2 is more like Windows 10. Another restart. Again, do not hit any button. Let it boot from the hard drive. Trust me, you do not want to go and accidentally restart that install. It won't be pretty. It never is. Back to the loading screen. Won't be too long. It'll finish up what it's doing, and it'll actually load Windows. Depending upon your server or your system you're using as a server, this process can take a little while. Fair word of warning, you do half, and I do mean half, 
to have a 64-bit architecture. If it's 32-bit only, it is not going to run server 2012. So now that we're on here, we can set up our lab password, which in this case is going to be... Well, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but... You are going to have to come up with a fairly strong password, and I do recommend coming up with a good one, and it is going to have to require special characters. And once you're done with the setup, poof, you're up and running. Of course, naturally, it comes up with the Control-Alt-Delete to sign in. All you have to do is hit Control-Alt-Delete on the keyboard. Since this is a virtual machine, I'm going to have to do Input, Keyboard, and Insert Control-Alt-Delete. Once I put in the password, it's going to fire up the profile for the first time, apply user settings and all that good jazz. And voila, we load to the desktop. Once you load to the desktop, at this particular point, you can actually start using your server install for various things that you're going to use it for. Right here is your server manager. Right here is PowerShell. You are going to want to learn quite a few things about PowerShell because PowerShell is very, very powerful in the newer versions of Windows. Older versions, a lot of them didn't have PowerShell. When it came along, it wasn't quite as powerful. It had some nifty tools. Today, oh man, there's a lot of things you can do with it. You can also write some really awesome PowerShell scripts that'll do most of anything you can imagine. So here's your server manager after it loads up for the first time. All servers, local server. 2012 is a whole lot easier to cluster if you have multiple servers. So there are a lot of really, really good reasons to install it and run it. Number one being because it's highly stable. That's it for your server install for doing a clean install from scratch. Watch, like, and share. Have a great day.